Mm. So hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Kiali community meeting. This is version 1.58 and uh, we are reviewing the Sprint 80. So this is the agenda for today. Uh, we are going to see an Sprint 80 summary of the tickets that we've been working on. Uh, then we are going to go through the more important highlights of this version. Uh, next, we are going to do a Sprint 81 preview. And finally, as always, we are going to have our community discussion. <clears throat> so this is a, a graph from uh, GitHub where we can see all the changes that we have uh, done in, the, in this Sprint by project. Uh, we see here the Kiali, uh, we have done like 27 or close 27 issues. We still have two in review that probably won't go into this revision. Uh, we still have 11 in progress and four in the backlog that will be moved to the next sprint. Uh, uh, so we are going to see some of them. Uh, then there were some changes in the Kiali operator and also in the Kiali IO, the documentation project, and some changes in the OpenShift service mesh plugin. Uh, so we start with the highlights of this version. Uh, OpenShift service mesh console was announced in the previous community meeting for the first time. Is, and this integrates Kiali in the, an OpenShift environment uh, that is based in the OpenShift Dynamic Plugins technology. Uh, in this version 0.2 that was released, we have mainly changes in the operator, like a backfish that aborts the operator if you don't specify all the Kiali uh, sections. Uh, but we also have been working in a couple of issues, uh, support for the new Istio configuration items that were introduced with the support for the new uh, gateway API, and also the, the HTTP routes and the Kubernetes gateways, uh, and the propagation of the duration and refresh parameters between the different tabs to have the same behavior than the standard on Kiali. <clears throat> Uh, the OpenSea Service Mesh Console is still released as a developer preview, so we encourage any developer who is testing uh, who is testing it to provide any feedback through the GitHub specific repository for the OS uh, for the plugin. Uh, so another effort that we were working on was uh, validate Kiali with the new Istio Ambient Mesh. Uh, to put a bit of uh, of in context. Uh, Istio Ambient is a new experimental branch of Istio with a new architectural design without the sidecars. So it's going to split this uh, sidecar functionality into two different components the, that operates in two different layers. One of them is the, is the C tunnel that is working in level four and is offering a TCP routing, encryption, and telemetry, uh, TCP telemetry, uh, and is more a uh, component more lightweight. And for the other side, we have the Waypoint Proxy <clears throat> that operates in layer seven, and it's an optional element and also offers all the features in, that we have now with the Istio sidecar, but it's deployed in a separate component that requires a, no modification in the application pod. So it aims to be less intrusive and reduce the operational costs. So as part of this uh, Kiali validation, we have installed Istio Ambient in a kind cluster, uh, which is the environment supported at the moment, and the booking for application that we have as an, as an example in Kiali also. Uh, we can observe that without the waypoint proxy in the image we, that we have on the left, we can just see the traffic that comes from the ingress gateway. And this is because there is no telemetry implemented at the moment. Uh, it's a work in progress in layer four. And when we install the waypoint proxy in the product page application, we can see some graphs. Uh, at least uh, we can see something, but probably it's not what we were expecting to see. And this is because Kiali uses a combination of the destination and source telemetry, but uh, now uh, we are only have reported metrics from one place. So one of the efforts is going to be oriented in identify uh, when we are using Ambient so we can run additional or, or different queries. 
And this is an example of the graph uh, and the, that is generated using, using ambient uh, with the, uh, in the right image uh, with the waypoint proxy. Uh, there is a GitHub issue with a label EPIC uh, that gathers of the subtasks re related with this initiative. Uh, and as this is experimental, we don't have any merge peer at the moment, and this is just a research task. Uh, another uh, effort was to improve the support for the Gateway API. Uh, for this, I'm going to pass the mic to Hike. Thank you, Josuna. Uh, as we introduced in our last print demo, the Gateway API support was added in Gialli, listing uh, Gateway API objects such as a Gateway or HTTP route. And now in this print, uh, those two objects are also listed in Istio config page for Service Mesh Console plugin. They can be filtered and sorted. Also, on the Kiali side itself, uh, uh, the Kiali graph is showing the gate face regularly uh, with a special gateway icon. And now the Kubernetes gateway API object, gateway object is also shown with the same icon. Uh, so, so it's basically recognized as a gateway on a graph. Uh, another working pro progress actions for this sprint and for the upcoming sprint will is the including gateway creation in a wizard. Uh, first, this is the Istio config creation wizard, where the only the gateway is created. And the uh, next steps is to include the creation of uh, HTTP routes in, in, inside the service traffic wizards. And currently, the HTTP route is the only type of route which is now supported in Istio. The rest are mm, in progress, development in progress. So that was all from my side. Thank you, Josuna. Thank you, Haik. And this is a list of other uh, notable fixes and enhancements uh, to highlight for this version. Uh, one is the uh, Argo CD rollout that was added as a work a low type that it was a community request. And Kiali now covers the scenario of a custom controller that doesn't have a replica set controlling the pods directly. Another enhancement was to the connect to Istio registry remotely. And this is still a work in progress to provide an option to connect to the Istio registry endpoints instead of the port forwarding in the Istio pods. So Istio, the pods can be located outside the cluster where Kiali is deployed. Uh, another interesting uh, issue, uh, other enhancement was the, the, redire the redirection to provider with authentication strategy, uh, OpenShift and OpenID. Uh, this uh, feature was announced in the previous community meeting, but we will be released, uh, it will be released in this version. So when we have OpenSheet and OpenID authentication strategies, uh, when we access Kiali, we have the to click a button to go to the provide the authentication page. And the behavior was changed to skip this additional step and just redirect to the authentication page. And it, this will be now available with this version. Uh, in the previous sprint, uh, we started a, an effort uh, to improve the CI tests by identifying and fixing the flag tests. Uh, and there was a significant improvement, but we are keeping identifying these flaky tests. And in this sprint, we have fixed, uh, we have fixed uh, a couple of, of those. Okay, uh, there was a new control plane car style uh, improvements. The control plane, uh, was uh, released or the new control plane card was uh, released in the previous version, but this had some small fixes uh, mainly in the in the design. There was also support for uh, more accessible namespaces in Kiali CR via the lab label selector. 
So uh, the default behavior shows that all namespaces uh, in Kiali step the system namespaces uh, and we and any namespace that matches any exclude label selector will be hidden from the view. So there's also a new documentation available in Kiali.io uh, where you can check on the new configuration to the support for enable or disable this, this namespaces view. Uh, another issue uh, was a fix in the traces that were not visible for workloads in the Istio namespace, and these were affecting the traces from Jaeger mainly. And well, uh, there was also a new blog post uh, with all the highlights in the last releases that can be available through this through this link. And now we are going to go through the Spring 81 preview. I'm going to pass the mic to Jay. Yeah, thanks, Jasune. Um, coming up in the next three-week sprint is, for the most part, a continuation of things that, that you've just seen. Um, so with regards to Istio Ambient, I mean, our goal is to continue to have a version of Kiali that at least does something um, along the way. So it should always be installable, usable, um, as as Jasuni showed before, um, you know that's an experimental branch, and in some places there's no telemetry being generated. In other places, it's sort of disjoint. So I mean that's a work in progress, but we do want to make sure that Kiali at least operates against ambient if you want to evaluate it. So we'll continue to look into that with um, any upcoming releases of ambient and or Kiali. Um, as Hike mentioned, we are going to continue to work on the Gateway API as that emerges as well. Probably um, one of the most important things that we're going to be looking at coming up soon, starting in the next sprint, actually a little bit in this sprint, is uh, for some time now we've been working on scalability and usability for larger scale deployments, um, but that's been mainly, mainly in single cluster. Um, we're pretty happy with, with the performance right now in, for single cluster and the visualizations that it's got. So we're going to go back and, and start refocusing again on a multi-cluster deployment model for Kiali, um, which we know that a lot of people have been looking for. Uh, that, if, that effort is just kicking off. There's some discussions in GitHub. Um, can feel free to contribute or let us know what your use case may be to make sure that hopefully we get covered. And we also continue to work on that OpenShift console integration. Uh, I believe we'll be releasing, I just only mentioned 020 is out. We should be in the next sprint releasing a 030 with some more improvements there. Um, and I believe that covers the main points. Of course, we always work on fixes and responding to community requests. Um, and you can always go to the project board in GitHub to see exactly what's been prioritized for the sprint. All right, thank you, Justine. Thanks, Jay. Okay, so now we have our part of the community discussion. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording and we can start with if there is any questions. Recording.